Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn Science with me. Today we have another important topic which is a cell cycle or cell division cycle. This cell cycle is a series of events that take place in a cell for its growth and development. It is a life cycle of a cell of replication and reproduction of cells. We have two type of cell divisions either through mitosis or through meiosis. The main difference between this mitosis and meiosis is this mitosis takes place in the somatic cells of our body while this meiosis cell division occur only in the germ cells of our body which are gonads, testes in males and ovaries in females. And the definition of this mitosis is it is a type of cell division that results in the formation of two daughter cells with the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent cells. While the meiosis is the cell division that results in the formation of four daughter cells, each with half number of chromosomes as parent cells. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss this mitosis and the different phases of this mitosis. But before going through the detail of this mitosis, we have another important phase of this cell cycle which is called the interphase. We have G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, and this M phase. This interphase is the time period in which cell spends most of its life. It is the daily living or metabolic process of the cell in which cell obtain nutrients. These three stages are called the interphase, the time period in which cell spends most of its life. The interphase is the time period in which cell spends most of its life. And daily metabolic activities also takes place during this interphase. Interphase also refer as the phase of cell cycle in which cell copies its DNA for the purpose of its division. In this gap one phase, the cell perform its normal function grows in its size. If the cell is actively dividing cell, then it go through the synthesis phase. It will enter into the synthesis phase. But if the cell is not an actively dividing cell, then it will go to the geo phase. In G1 phase, the cell perform its normal metabolic functions and grows in size. If the cell is an actively dividing cell, then it, it will enter into the synthesis phase. This synthesis phase is the very important stage of this interphase in which DNA replication occur. In this phase, the cell replicate its DNA. When cell receives signals for division, then cell duplicate its DNA in synthesis phase. In G2 phase or GAP2 phase, the cell adds in the volume of cytoplasm. And the replication of many important cell organelles except the DNA takes place within the G2 phase. In interphase, the cell perform their normal functions. It grow in size, perform its metabolic functions, replicate its DNA, adds up the volume of cytoplasm and replicate many other cell organelles. So these interphase is the phase in which cell perform its daily routine functions. If cell receives signals for growth, for division, if cell receives signals for division, then 
it stops its growth and enters into the mitosis phase m phase there are four stages of this mitosis phase which are called prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase let's discuss prophase in early prophase you can see the chromatin these are the chromatin the chromatin become danced the condensation of chromatin takes place within the early prophase the chromosome starts to appear while the two centrioles is present within the cell in early prophase you can also see there is nucleolus and this is nuclear membrane a well formed nuclear membrane in early prophase you can see a well formed nuclear membrane but in late prophase you can see these chromatin become more dense and the centrioles goes to the opposite sides and the fibers arise from these centrosomes nucleolus disappears and also the nuclear membrane degrade it will starts to shed off next we have metaphase the metaphase is the stage in which chromosomes lines up at the center of the cell and the spindle fiber which arises from this centrosome attached to the chromatids next we have anaphase in a phase the chromosomes splits and arrange to the opposite poles next and the last stage of this mitosis is telophase in telophase you can see the cell formed two nuclei and now we have the same number of chromosomes as we have in the prophase that's why we say in mitosis the daughter cell contain the same number of chromosomes as of their parent cell now in telophase the cell is further going to the cytokinesis in order to form two daughter cells cytokinesis means the division of cytoplasm i hope you understand this lecture Don't forget to subscribe my channel like and share this video with your friends thank you